Hi, it's so Sarah here and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to be doing lots of decluttering. We are getting ready for the holiday season because we're gonna be bringing stuff in. So let's get things out of here. I've got to redo my front closet um, by the door. It's just been a mess since we moved in over a year ago. Redo our pantry for like the third or fourth time. <laughs> kind of learning what I need to redo in there. So yeah, we're gonna do that again. And we're gonna go through my closet and my dresser drawers, just go through all that good stuff again and get things cleaned out, get things donated, give things away, sell things, all the good stuff. So I hope you enjoy, I hope you get all the motivation you need to start decluttering in your home today and let's get right into it. Okay, so this is our front closet near the front door. This is the looks of it right now. And behind my wedding dress, I have some scarves. I have, we have some other random stuff, boxes. I don't even know what all. So, got a bit to go through. I usually start my decluttering process by just taking everything out, and then I start sorting out what needs to be donated, thrown away, what's going to be kept, and then I put them back in after I'm done with that whole process. So, that's what I'm going to do right now. It usually works pretty well for me. Just hopping in real quick to say that if you enjoy this video, I hope you will hit the thumbs up button down below and please hit subscribe if you want to join our family that we're growing here on YouTube. I do lots of cleaning, decluttering, organizing, decorating. I love decorating for the holidays and for the seasons. I love sharing my life here in Colorado. I love sharing day in the lives. I love sharing productive days. I want to help you get motivated. I want to help you bring joy into your life. So I share the things that bring me joy in hopes that I can help you as well. All right, I have everything out. It is a little bit messy, but really not too bad actually. But I pretty much know what we're keeping, what we're not. I already did the blankets. I am pretty sure these are the ones we're going to donate, or actually I'll probably keep them in my car to give to a homeless person. And I have my wedding dress that I'm just not ready to deal with yet. And yeah, so let's get on this. I also want to put some of the things from the pantry in there, so I'm actually going to get those out real quick too.
I just finished the front closet, so let me show you what that looks like. Honestly, I don't feel like it's gonna look much different to anybody else, but to me, I know it's much better. I have all the gardening stuff in a box, I have all the tools there, and then, let's open the other door. At the top, we've got all of the stuff when people come to stay. We have blankets, air mattress, multiple pillows, and then that's all the sheets and pillowcases in there. Back here, we have my wedding dress, some scarves, my extra purse, an umbrella, um, some paper towels. That is um, all the wrapping paper and wrapping bags and stuff. Got just some extra tissues, extra hot hands, a volleyball, kind of some random stuff. This is Robbie's hat rack that he just recently got and put in here. And then we have our coolers. Then we have our piles for stuff to take out to the garage. This is stuff to donate. This is trash. This is an old, not good air mattress. It doesn't air up anymore. And this is something to ask Robbie about. And these are some extra containers that I had sitting in the closet that we'll see about using. I doubt I'll use this, but it's a really nice quality box. Like, do you hear that? It's so nice that I don't want to get rid of it, so we'll see. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. Somehow I want to know all about you Deep connection, lights a spark You already know me when we dance in the dark We're dreamers It looks better, not perfect. I've got protein powders on the top. Second row is just noodles, rice and grains, and bread. Then we've got lots of drink stuff on the third shelf, and then we've got oils and vinegars and just some extra spices. Then down here is more like oats, granola, nuts, nut butter, sweet stuff. And down here is snack stuff, and then at the bottom, We've got all the baking stuff in the back right corner. We've got extra storage things back there. We've got just too big of things that don't fit anywhere else, like those oils. I'm going to put all my extra bone broths there that I drink every day. That basket is like extra stuff that just doesn't fit elsewhere. And that's just part of the baking things. This is my pile of trash of things that have expired. And we bought some Halloween candy, so we've got a whole bowl I've poured of Halloween candy. We literally still have more. This is just an extra dessert thing I also bought this week. Then I cleared out a couple of these containers as well, which I'm going to wash, and then I'll put away with the extra containers. It is another day, and we are going to tackle the closet and dresser drawers. I don't think I have too much. I've kind of been gathering some things over the last couple months. Robbie has a lot of things that he's going to do off camera as well that he has to gather, and then we'll take everything to donate or to sell all at one time. So let's just get into that. So on this side of the closet, I have 
dresses, jeans, and then it goes into my long sleeves, which is through the whole middle section. And on that side of the closet, it then goes into like tank tops and t-shirts. And I try to organize them in rainbow color of each section. So we're just gonna start at this end and make our way through. I just look at every single piece and I'm like, have I worn this in the last year? Did I wear this last season? Um, and just see. And even if I haven't worn it, sometimes I'm like, well, I know I wanna wear it for this or something like that. Um, but if I didn't wear it last season and I'm just not feeling it this year, then I get rid of it. rid of a couple shirts uh, just some t-shirts I haven't worn in quite a while or that I wore just because I was like well I don't know what to wear um so I'm getting rid of those these are some coats that Robbie and I have already gotten rid of three of them are his one is mine just ones that have either been replaced or they're old and have holes or they don't fit or whatever uh, and we have a couple bags that I already put together I think I was trying to do this before our wedding, which was now two and a half months ago. And it was stuff that I was trying to take like the month before our wedding. So basically the stuff we've already gotten rid of is a skirt. No, this is leather pants that were uncomfortable from a Halloween costume. A pair of shorts, three dresses, and then some polos and dress shirts for Robbie. So we'll have a few things to add. He will probably have a few, th a few more things to add. And then let me go through my dresser. So I just got rid of a couple other things. Got rid of a pair of flare leggings. I literally just wore these the other day, but they're just too long. They've always been too long. I should have taken them back and I just get them disgusting. They get stuck under my feet. I need to get rid of them. I have a pair of long johns that's a, that I've had for, I don't even know, since I was like 14. They don't fit. Um, and then a pair of biker shorts that are uncomfortable and some spandex shorts that I've had again since like, I don't know, 14, 15. Um, I got rid of a sports bra, a couple pairs of socks, and then headband and gloves, and a blow dryer. I also got rid of this pair of flip flops because I don't wear them at all. So then I just need Robbie to gather his stuff tonight, which I don't need to film that. Um, and then I think we're ready to have our big donate pile. So that I think is it for this video. I hope that you guys got the motivation you need to do some decluttering, some reorganizing, all that good stuff. I had a lot of fun. I am so glad that it's done. It feels just, it's just feels so great to have things cleaned up, to have your home tidy, to have things in place, to know where everything is, to know, what you have and all of that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that you take care and that you're doing well. Bye.